All right, so this is uh, one of those videos I wish I had found online. Um, this is a glass slide for a DRO for the mill. I put one on this mill uh, the other day and you inevitably end up having to trim uh, these guys down unless you take all the time to figure out exactly what you need. But if you're like me and you've never installed one before, you're not exactly sure how it's gonna work out. So yeah. Uh, so what we're gonna do is the, the big deal with uh, cutting these is there's this glass uh, slide in here um, that uh, is very fragile and easy to break. So you can see it's in there. Um, what some guys do is they'll stuff paper towel in and just cut it with a bandsaw, which works okay, but the risk that you run uh, is that when you shatter, when this glass shatters, that shatter, that fracture could you know, splinter its way up the glass and you could end up losing the part um, just because of that. Hold on, the dryer is beeping. I'll be right back. And of course this glass piece is, or you know, these slides are the most expensive part of the DRO. The, uh, the head isn't that big of a deal anyway. But uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna mill out on uh, this side of the, uh, the slide and we're just gonna take off about this much of the uh, the uh, the slide there. So all we're doing is we're gonna mill that off and then I'll show you, we're gonna score this glass just with a carbide scribe and just tap it and it will snap pretty well. It, it, it I've been fairly consistent. This was a side that didn't work out uh, quite as well, mostly because I milled it on the wrong side. As you can see, you wanna be on the side so that you, uh, when you tap it, you can see how there's an open side here. You want to go toward, be able to tap it toward the open side so the glass can actually flex a little bit. So we're going to mill off this part and then we'll score and snap. So uh, I'll mill that off real quick. Uh, you know, you could do this with a hacksaw if you were extremely careful. Um, maybe an angle grinder, a zip disc, something like that. You might be able to pull it off. Uh, but presumably if you're installing one of these, maybe you got a lathe that you want to do it on. In that case, I'd probably recommend that you, uh, you get them the right size to begin with. Um, but, uh, you know, presumably if you're putting one on a mill, you've got a mill. So, uh, yeah. So anyway, I'll trim that down and then uh, we'll go back to uh, how to uh, score and snap. I think that's gonna be enough for demonstration purposes. Now, if I were doing this just to make my life easier, I probably would have gone through and taken this off too, you know, in a separate pass, but just doing it quick and dirty, show you what's going on here. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna scoop back that green, it's just like uh, rubber, uh, I don't know, how would you describe it? It's like a rubber, not even tube, just like, uh, rubber round stock, I guess. What we're gonna do is we're gonna scoot it back to about here. Uh, I'm just gonna pick it out and scoot it back. I'll do that off camera, there's nothing special. You couldn't see me do it anyway because my hands will be in the way. All right, so you can see I didn't scoot it very far back at all. It doesn't need to go very far back. And all I, all I used was just a, a pick to do that. Nothing special. All right, so then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a carbide scribe, uh, fairly easy to find. Uh, and we're going to go in here, <clears throat> kind of like this, and I'm going to scribe a line, uh, you know, just a little bit back from, ooh, geez, got some burrs there. There we go. I'm going to scribe a line uh, just a little bit past where I made the cut. And I want to leave just enough because I'm going to come back and, uh, you know, if I were doing this all the way, I'd come back and clean this up. Um, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to show you how to break the glass. The rest of it, I think, is fairly self-explanatory. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to scribe a line here, and I'll come back and show you. All right. So you can see I scribe the line there, and it's actually better if you leave that little green piece kind of behind where you're going to scribe. It allows you to put a little more force on the glass and, and scribe it. I kind of forgot that. I didn't... I, did it off camera but uh, so now all we're gonna do is uh, I'm just gonna take a punch 
and just lightly tap on that with a hammer and it should break more or less right at that scribe line. All right, so you can see a pretty good break there. And if you look at the piece, this is the side that I broke off. This was the side that came out of the factory. It was already chipped. Um, but yeah, so you get a pretty pretty decent break. It doesn't go perfectly down the scribe line. All, well, it goes pretty well down the scribe line, as you can see. Um, but it keeps it from fracturing up um, because, you know, you don't scribe as you can see, because you've got the shoulder in the way, you don't scribe all the way up, but you scribe a good half of it, and that limits how far up this can fracture. Um, so anyway, this was the video, like I said, uh, you know, buying these cheap glass lead DROs kind of freaked me out a little bit, uh, just because, well, they're not all that cheap, really. I mean, they're still kind of expensive but I wasn't sure if I was gonna be able to do this. And I, I sat and had a really good long think about it. Um, and this was the solution that I came up with. And I, I actually purposefully got a long piece to experiment on. And this was the best way I found to do it. It's cheap, you know, simple tools and a mill. That's all you need, simple tools and a milling machine. So anyway, hope this helps somebody out and uh, thanks for watching.